Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. Actually, I should be saying this in Spanish. Muchas felicidades para el Día de Independencia de México. Muchas felicidades a todos ustedes mexicanos y gracias por ser parte de nuestra cultura también. Yo soy Indiana Jones y voy a hacer un poquito de crafting hoy. Mucho gusto. Hi, good evening. It's me, Indiana Jones, and we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo Indiana Jones style. Well, I'm not really doing anything Mexican, just dressed up that way. But we are going to do a terracotta pot, a plastic pot making it look like a terracotta pot. It's as close as I can get. Could have made some food, but, you know, I just didn't think about it in time. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome. Let me just get set up here and make sure I can see you guys. Is the music too loud? I hope not. Dun, 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 dun. Anybody out there who is Mexican or Mexican descent? Oh good, the camera looks clear. So you see my friend, the topiary is back because we're going to work on him and I'm going to mute myself here. Hold on. Let me mute myself. There we go. I have to use the computer so I can see what you're saying. So let me move this back so you can see my progress. So I did fix this. I just have to like glue the bottom part down into here. I cut this down a little and it looks so much better. But today we're just going to work on this bottom part. So just going to put that in there, you know, and I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull the phone a little closer to me. You can see me better. There we go. Is that better? I hope so. There we go. Ah, there we are. And we're listening to some traditional, I was going to say Cuban, no, it's Mexican, Mexican music. Now Cuba's in the Independence Day is in May, so maybe we'll celebrate it since I'm Cuban. Why not? Anyway, I did go to Mexico back in the 70s, long, 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 long time ago, when I was a young child. My parents, this is, this is story time since we're waiting for people to show up. My parents and I, we lived in New York City, and my dad decided that he, we always took road trips. Oh my goodness, we took so many road trips when I was young. It was the 70s. We had a station wagon. Hey, Julie, happy Cinco de Mayo. And so my dad decided to drive from New York City, drive in a station wagon, not an RV, station wagon, to Acapulco, Mexico. So like New York is all the way up here on the East Coast. Acapulco's all the way down there on the West Coast. Yeah, it's like way down south in Mexico. So we saw all of Mexico. We saw more of Mexico than I think some Mexicans have ever seen, and especially driving through it. We met a lot of people. We saw a lot of, Mexico's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Guadalajara is beautiful. I mean, San Luis Potosí, everything. I still remember because it was so incredibly beautiful. We saw the pyramids, we saw silver mines, it, the beaches in Acapulco were just stunning. It was just a beautiful experience. So I know things are bad right now, but anyway, take a look at how beautiful Mexico is, the culture, everything. I know I should have, maybe I should have dressed up like Frida Kahlo. I just put this together, like slapped it on, put on, put on my, my shawl, which everybody thinks is from Mexico. Because it looks very, I have two of them, one in brown and one, and I always thought, you know, this is, I got it from Mexico, and then I looked it up, and I'm like, no, it's from Target, believe it or not. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off before I get paint all over it, and I'm actually going to put on an apron before I get paint all over my nice shirt. Hi, Ruby! <laughs> Jack or never Jackson, how are you, Leah and Jack? Um, so I'm going to use my handy-dandy little little apron here because this is one of my it's all wrinkly and stuff whatever um, but it's one of my thrift store shirts that I like a lot because I, I do like dressing up very boho very very boho like if there's anybody's closet that I would love to raid as far as TV characters it would be um, Alexis Rose from Schitt's Creek oh my gosh that girl has the cutest outfits I don't know if I have the exact body type for it but Anyway, so what are we doing today? Today, I want to finish up with my topiary. As you can see, I fixed the stick. It's shorter, it looks great. 
I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. Thank goodness. We're all doing good. And I'm going to make this plastic pot look like a, an aged terracotta pot. And what I'm going to use is, of course, baking soda, some paint, and I have some other paints over here to help age it. I also wanted to use some salt, but hey, McBain's. Hi, Rosalie. How are you? Happy Cinco de Mayo. I've been wearing a, I wore a wig yesterday. I wore a costume on Saturday. I make like, non-stop costumes. Thank God I took a break on Sunday. I was going to dress dapper on Sunday. Decided not to at the last minute because I was tired. So this has been quite a week as far as costumes are concerned. Sorry. Oh, and my paper towels just fell. Sorry. All right. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to mix together is I had this paint like I always buy because I know you can use like the other paints that but it's just so much cheaper Ooh, it's goopy it's a goopy Blah. it's a goopy mix doesn't smell bad though that's good just a little dry so I'm just gonna mix it in here I think that should be enough I think so Now I'll just paint another pot. Clean off that goopiness later. And then I'm going to mix in with a little bit of this. Just to make it a little lighter. What the heck happened there? Because that's like, you know, deep terracotta. It's the perfect color, actually. Perfect, perfect color. But I want it to look a little aged. So, and of course my mom's calling me. But I put it on silent. I put it on vibrate. <laughs> Oh, who's, who's on there? I see some. Lizzie! Lizzie's here! Zach is here. Everybody's here. This is great. So I'm going to mix these together and I'm going to add a little bit. Actually, I'm going to add a lot of this because I want it to have that grainy, pot-like feeling. You know? So, just mixing it up. Sorry if I'm quiet, it's been a rough couple of days. Oh no. I hate to hear that, Zach. So see, it's like, let's age it a little more. Let's add a little more of this one. Because I don't want it to be deep terracotta. I want it to be like a light, a lighter terracotta. And let's add a lot more of this. Because I want it to be Like us Cubans girl, we thick. <laughs> I'm excited to wear a wig. Things will get better, yes. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think about these murder wasps? I mean, they're called murder wasps. What the heck? Really? What the heck? I mean, whoever started the game of Jumanji, get off of it already. Stop it. You know, it was, it was funny when it all started, but it's not funny anymore. Not funny. All right, let's get started on this. Let's see how far we got. Who the heck? Right? You know why? You know why they call them murder wasps? Because they're Asian wasps. And so they, won't, they don't want to call it Asian wasps. Let's call them murder wasps. Why don't we? Sure. That sounds like fun. Murder wasps. Murder wasps, she wrote. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. All right, so let's get started. This is easy. You're just going to watch me paint. <clears throat> I don't know where that came from. Oh, it came from inside the pot. So I'm just doing a quick paint. Quick paint. Something simple to do. It's not, if it's not one thing, it's another. I know, you have to thank God for the simple pleasures and the simple things you have. I don't know, I don't know why this is all happening now. Is it like, has anybody seen the Four Horsemen? You know, did somebody break the seals on, you know? I don't know. Any, any trumpeting hearing? I don't know. It's just crazy. I'm gonna turn around that way so you can see that side while I paint this side. You can hear how grainy it is, which is exactly what I want. I want it to look 
and feel like it's an actual terracotta pot. Oh dear, I got pink on me already. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on those big terracotta pots. Just buy one of these plastic ones. Or if you have plastic ones, just paint them. And again, I get these paints. I love the craft paints from Plaid, but they're, I like them for like more delicate things, not these big mamma jammas. Big mamma jammas. Because then I waste all my pretty paints. All right, did I get it all the way around? Did I miss any spots? All right. Don't worry, we are going to age this tonight. So while that is drying, I'm gonna do this top part. You could have also painted, if you wanted to, you could have also painted this white. You can paint this any color you want. I was thinking of painting it white, but then I was like, eh, it's so dull. I have everything like white, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is age this a little bit. So remember to go all the way in. I think just to the lip, I don't think you need to go any deeper than that. And the good thing about that is this is rough. This plastic is rough, it's not like super slick. So more than likely it will, it will stick really well. I haven't had any problem with this, this paint and it's like, it's the regular paint. Um, it's just a regular paint, but when I add it with the, um, I haven't had anything fall off yet. There, you know, people have asked me. No, nobody's asked me. I'm just saying that just to be clever. How is Luke Skywalker Jones? Yeah, I like this color. Well, the wasps will kill 50 people a year in Japan. Well, how did they get over here? Were there, were there not enough people over there to kill? Thank you very much. Why did they come over here? Who brought them up? It's like, well, right, who brought them on a bag? You know somebody brought that in, like, oh, look how cool I have this humongous murder wasp. And why did they come from Asia? Are they naturally born like that? I mean, my worry isn't so much getting killed by them, but it, they, kill, they kill bees. I mean, we have problems enough as it is if we don't have any veggies, too, because, you know, we don't have bees to pollinate. Come on. What's going to happen to the world, right? All right. Dun, 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 dun. Look, looking good. It's looking good. Did I miss a spot here? Yes, I did. All right. Now I'm going to take a whole bunch of other colors. I'm going to wipe some of this off a little bit. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to use that for the other little pot that I have down there. Because I have a little square pot. And I want these to look like, you know, like, like they're that powdery white. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna just go straight in. Like that. You know what I'm talking about? That they they're aged so they're like all powdery on the outside. You just have to like, you know, vary it so it's not all in one, you know, it's not all like, oh, okay, she just painted this real quick. Yes, I did paint it real quick, but I don't want you to think that when you look at it. It's like, oh, she's aged. It's like, she got it from an antique store. It's supposed to look French. It's supposed to look French. Luke Skywalker Jones is doing fine. Thank you. He's busy with projects. He has all these projects. I'm getting really tired of teachers giving so many projects. And I'm like, well, it's the only way they can check and see what you're doing and that you understand what you're doing. How does that look? How does that look to you guys? Does that look authentic? Did anybody do anything special for Cinco de Mayo? Not that we could, but you know. Like what I would have done was gone to my favorite little Mexican restaurant right here by my house. It's not a little Mexican restaurant, it's Chewy's. It looks good, okay, good, thank you. Actually, let's 
add a little. There we go. This will make it all powdery. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Now I'm, now I'm giving it the texture I want it. See? Can you see? Oh. See, it's like texturized now. That's what I want. That's what I want. I don't want that. Your restaurants are, well, our restaurants are open too, but I'm still skittish. I skid, I scared. I still scared. Look at that, oh my Lord. I hope all this comes off. I should have worn gloves. <sighs> But yeah, I think this, see, I like experimenting with you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. You all think I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That does look cool. It looks like, it looks like, you know what it looks like? If you watch Jamie Ray Vintage, it looks like that salt stuff that she does. I was gonna buy that stuff. I love her stuff. I really do, but like the salt stuff is a little, a little pricey for me. Oh my gosh, I like this. Can you see? Look at the difference, just the paint and then with the, with the dabbing on of the... Yeah, that's good. I like it. Let's do it on the on the outside. So you can see it. Can you see it? And it gives it that whitish tone that I wanted to do. It mixes in with the paint, but it also gives that like powdery tone that I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. I see all these like antique looking pots and they're so expensive. Oh, Lizzie, you're in Texas. I'm sure they had a lot of celebrations for Cinco de Mayo, right? Here, not so much. We don't have... I love... I know, it's pricey. I love all her stuff. I have. I buy the IOD stuff from her, and I've been wanting to buy um, some of her stencils, but now I, lo I love her home decor stuff. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with her home decor stuff. Oh, I like this. I like it. I love it when I do something and I'm surprised by myself that it's coming out right. <laughs> Look at this, this is a new thing. I have not seen anybody just go straight with the power, with the baking soda straight on. And this is baking soda. I don't, this is, this I can't use for cooking. I wouldn't use this or I use, the, I have detergent. I have a huge box of detergent baking soda and this is, you know, an odor eater baking soda that I had in the garage for a long time. So it's like way past, way past. Love it. I 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 love it. This is too cool. See, I was thinking of like getting like Epsom salts to do this. I love Jamie's Ray's everything. It's like I look forward to Wednesdays to sit down and have lunch and watch her because when she comes on is lunchtime over here. So I would literally stay in my office, close my door, have my lunch at my desk so I can watch Jamie Ray Vintage. I also love Little Blue Fly. I'm seeing people use baby powder in their paint also. Oh, baby powder. That would be much finer. This is a little rougher. And for what I want, this is perfect. I gotta try, I don't know if I have any baby powder. I might. So let's see, other stories about Mexico. I love Mexico, it was so beautiful. Um, if you weren't here for my story time, I was telling the story of how my dad, we would always take road trips from New York City to Miami. And one year my dad was bored, I think it was like eight or nine. And he's like, no, we're not gonna go from New York to Miami, we're gonna go to Mexico. And not just Mexico, no, we went to Acapulco, Mexico. Go look at a map, 
Look at New York City. Look at Acapulco, Mexico. Thank you. In, not an RV, in a station wagon. And my clever mother, because my mother is inc incredibly clever, she thought it would be cute so we could have some privacy and sleep maybe. She decided to make curtains, but not just any kind of curtains. Oh no. She made red and white checkered curtains with those little red pom-pom balls at the bottom. Yeah, they thought we were total gypsies. <laughs> like they speak Spanish, but yeah, these are gypsies. So people didn't mess with us. I have never seen anybody use baby powder. I like it. Let me use a little more, a little white. Because it's gotten like, it's, the powder has gotten, ah! All right, now let's, let's age it a little more with the white. I am liking this, guys. This is something new. Yeah, so I saw a lot of Mexico. A lot more than some Mexicans have seen of Mexico. But it is beautiful, you know. Uh, I know there's been, like, some tension. But, all right. I think... Look at that, it looks like a genuine terracotta pot now. Me like it. Go like that. Let me add a little here. I got the chunks, chunks. Oh, by the way, did, did anybody see the, the, um, the reunion of the Goonies? Did you see Chunk? He's like the skinniest of them all now. It's hilarious. And he's like the only one that's not still in acting. And he's the skinniest one. He's a he's a an entertainment lawyer actually. Which I thought that was pretty interesting. He didn't like he didn't continue in the acting, but. Well, I think this looks fabulous. What do you think? I'll get a close up. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Wait, let's put a little more red in here. Let's blend this in a little more. Look at that. It looks so cool and it feels like it's a real terracotta pot. I'm gonna age it a little more. I'm gonna put some black and stuff in it so it looks, you know, Truly eight, but I mean, just like that. Who would have thought that? It started out with this, like this, this yucky plastic green. I had not ever thought of doing that, and I'm glad I thought of doing it with you guys. Oh, there's my, see, now my topiary looks perfect. Oh, I am so happy. Look at that. I'm so happy. I'm gonna let this dry though. And finagle with it some more but what a difference what channel is the reunions on um look up goonies reunion and it was josh gad was the um he was the host and they got like the whole entire cast i mean everybody that was alive even the fratelli brothers they got the whole cast it's really cute Of course, Josh Brolin looks adorable, but you know, he can't help it. He's just adorable. Anyway, look at my hands. Thank you guys for joining me for another Indiana Jones. I hope you guys try this out because not only is it fun, it actually works. <laughs> and I'm really, really proud and impressed that it worked this well. And I think you just keep adding. And then the only thing I would probably do is put a coat of like matte, um, what is it called? Ah, oh, matte, like sealant, you know? If you're gonna put this outside, I'm gonna use it inside, so I don't think I need to seal it. I mean, I, I might use the sealant just to keep the powdery stuff on it, but I might, I am really, really, look at that texture. I am really, 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 really 
really <laughs> impressed. So that's how you take a Dollar Tree plastic pot and make it look like a, an expensive terracotta pot that doesn't cost a lot and doesn't weigh a lot. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you like my hair. I love wearing wings. <laughs> Thank you so much for Julie. Julie! I'm going to put a little bit of moss on this. I might put some of that like other moss, like the real moss or whatever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just like, you know, just touch it up, zhuzh it up a little. And, and I'm going to use the rest of this paint um, on that green one too. I might as well, just might as well. So thank you, thank you again for joining me yet again on Indiana Jones. And let's celebrate the fact today is a good day of celebration. I finally am monetized. I don't know how long it'll last. I gotta keep the viewership up. So please like, share, subscribe. You people, I know you all, but share it around. Say, look at this wacky girl. Well, a little wacky girl, wacky lady over 50 who dresses up and paints herself and just does silly wacky things. Thank you again. I wouldn't have gotten monetized. It take, it's taken me five years. So, and, and the best, my, my highest ranking videos can't, can't be monetized. So, God bless you all. Take care and thank you again. Stay safe, stay healthy, and celebrate each day like it's Cinco de Mayo, right? <laughs> thank you, Patchouli Julie. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jack, Patchouli Julie, Leah, um, Zach. Who else is out there? Who else is out there? Marlene, I think Marlene was on there. Rosalie, I don't know, I gotta look, but thank you all for, for being so kind and so supportive. Good night, God bless, bye. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, I can't turn